Uh, this is meant to be a tutorial for like that Melbourne bounce, Melbourne house sound. Uh, like uh, from the kick bass to the dry. Where are we? This sound. Anyway, so you get the point. Um, I don't do tutorials, so I don't know if this will help. I'm not really sure how to do one, but you know, I'll give it a good shot because heaps of people ask how to do that kick bass sound or how to make particular sounds. Um, there's some sounds that you won't find just because they're unique and no one's going to give them away. Um, so basically let's just start with a kick bass. Um, if you don't have external like sound packs, you really need to get some. Vengeance Essentials are wicked, they're the ones I've got. Um, so for like the hard kick. Um, and then bass. Now, I don't usually do this for my bass, but I just did it because it was quick and easy. One of the sound things over here, let's just take uh, number seven, that one. What I, what I did was I go edit, I take from here, four of it. Put that here. But now to get rid of that clicking sound, you just adjust your attack a little bit. Also, change your kick, but you know, still do that with the attack. And that's how I got the bass. Normally, you can use like Massive, or the, there's other softwares you can use. Software, <laughs> other plugins you can use for it. Um, but yeah, so in this instance, I just use that. Um, all you do is you put it on every fourth. Oh, every um, half. It's going on? Yeah. Um. And do that. And then for the second, like, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and here, my bass is listed. I think on number two. Yeah, it is. So parametric EQ two. You just raise it a little bit, just so you can get a a, a bit heavier. Um, you do that with most of the basses. Uh, if you want to copy the shit, you can. Here's the pluck sound. Which is just a massive preset. You'll find somewhere to get a progressive synth or make one yourself. That's what I do. You'll find one tutorial somewhere else. I'm not going to show you. That's a waste of time. Here is a punctuate lead which is not working, why is it not working, I've never had that happen before, ever, yes, there we go, um, so it's from Native Instruments Razor, you could use something else, but you know, so what's that sound, you need a pad, any pad, I've got a pad here, um, um, and then for your build up, when you're doing a snare roll, don't do it stagnant or like everyone does that. Do 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 that shit. No, make it unique and different. Um, I mean, this is. Like that's not really that unique, I know, but it's just a quick song I've put together. Um, so with that though, speaking of that, um, let's just make this one solo for now. Um, if I was to do this, this is one way, instead of using a filter, because some people use a filter, a high pass filter, don't do that. Make it 24 feet pitch to create an automation clip. Turn it up, raise this to the top, and just what's going on? There we go, like that. And now listen. That's how you do it properly, but I don't want that. So, um, and my build-up's pretty shocking. 
The other good thing is you can get sweeps as well if you get the essential thing. Now, anyway, do the sound. To make this sound, what you want to do is make a new sound. So, oh shit. Well, I guess I'm going to have to make it. Oh no, it saved it. There you go. Um, you want to go to Distort. Chuck your amount. My amount's on 48, or so 7.48. As you can see, um, my resonance is at 3. It's a very precise sound, so you want to try and get this to match like perfect. Um, my cutoff's at 82.69. Just look here if you want to see. 53.94. Five. Need a bandpass filter. Um, octave down two. Keep voices at one. I mean, you can play around and make two or something. And drive at. Oh, I moved that. But three point nine five. It's probably at four. I reckon when I had it. And key track at point eight one. It, like I said, it's a precise sound. So try get that as much as you can. My slide is at. Uh, 5.38, so let's just say the notes slide um, like this, if I turn it off, listen to the difference you get, it's shit, um, so, I think I showed the pattern. I don't know if I did. That's the pattern. There you go. Screenshot it or whatever you need to do. Uh, this is the pattern for that. And you just copy that one for the trance sound, which I used Nexus for that. And I did uh, two sounds. Hands up two and hands up nine, which are preset ones. So, um, yeah, you've got your cutoff filters here to let it. <laughs> filters just to bring that like Rory sound in rather than if I get rid of it it's just gonna sound like this <laughs> anyway it just it would transition in very well so that's what I did there same with here <laughs> All I did was this here is actually a copy of my second drop if you see just there and the second drop is this this is the pattern now the second drop is that bounce sound which this one here you want to put it like that instead of that because now it goes like this it's that bounce sort of thing, so. So that's that sound. Um, I'm not going to give you the FLP because that to me just is um, lazy because I'm showing you the patterns and you're not going to get anything out of me giving you the FLP except having my song. And. I don't care if you have a song, it's just, you're not going to learn anything. Sometimes it's good to get it because you can get like sounds and preset sounds, but you're not going to have the sounds that I have here, so it's not going to make much of a difference. You will make, yeah, make that sound, but um, you're not going to have the sound. Obviously level them all out in your mixer channel or else it's going to clip and be way too loud. Oh, yeah, thank God I did that. With the raw sound or whatever it is you want to call it 
Flanger. Just do all that shit. That, um, it just sort of filters it a little bit whilst it, it's playing, so, um, it sort of changes the sound every now and then whilst the job's going, which is good. You want a reverb, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a default reverb I did, I didn't really think I'd changed anything because it sounded good as it is. Uh, parametric EQ, you, this is like nothing, I've just lifted everything up a little bit because I side-chained it to my kick which I did, so you go free limiter threshold ratio, adjust that to how you want it but you get the kick and you would left click, so that's the channel but I'm just showing you, you'd left click there but and you do side chain to this track and then it'll be inside your free limiter when it pops up you go compression and yeah, limiter is done um, don't worry about those two, that's just the filter which is um, party next door and you, when you create the automation clip you want to turn that down and so it goes up and always start with the volume down too because otherwise when the song starts like here if you wanted it you wouldn't be able to hear that because there'd be nothing like yeah um, I think I covered everything do when you're doing a build up um, I've just taken the pattern as you can see like and just shrunk it see just to save time but um you know I've added a trance sound here just to break it up this is a clap on every second and that's pretty much it, just add in your sounds like crashes and stuff and it just adds ambience and yeah, I, I, hopefully that helped you guys, I don't know if it did I don't know if I covered anything at all but you know just comment or something if you need me to do a more in-depth one for however long it's going to take or whatever sort of sound you want like um, I have this sound in case you guys want to make a sound like this I can probably show you how to make this sound as well um, just here sort of shit as well. This one's pretty hectic though. This took me some time so that it takes some time as a tutorial. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that shit. Sorry that I'm out of it. Um, yeah, comment if you need anything else.